When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. Horatio Spafford After two great weeks in Georgetown, we were ready to discover a new island. We were headed to Thompson Bay to anchor just along Salt Pond, Long Island. We shared this decision with Scott and Mary, and they decided they would make the jump with us before heading back north through the Bahamas and back to their home in Florida. We, of course, are planning the Turks jump soon, right before Easter 2020. It is mid-March. We have been hearing about all the concerns in the U.S., the lockdowns, closed schools and churches. We're astonished that all this is happening, but we're hopeful that it will soon be contained and the Caribbean islands will not be affected. Of course, deep down, we probably knew this would not be true. We headed out for the day trip over to Long Island on a beautiful day with some rolling waves. We enjoyed the day, the fishing, another barracuda on the line, and cruising over a blue hole. We settled into Long Island before the sun went down and headed over to the beach for a sundowner and met some people in the anchorage. We were finally able to catch up with friends Beth and Tim who we'd been chatting with on Facebook about our Endeavor boats. The next day we headed in to Salt Pond, which is not a very big town, to find the grocery store and hardware store and just check out the spectacular view though of the bay and all the boats, including Journey snug and ready for another wind event forecast in the coming days. On the way back to the dinghy dock, we met some fishermen back from the Ragged Islands with their catch. Scott enjoyed posing as if he had caught the fish. We bought some fresh fish right off the dock and caught sight of these lemon sharks waiting for the scraps below. That afternoon, although the weather was coming in, Dee and I had been craving pizza so bad and we heard we could get some good pizza over at Tiny's Hurricane Hole. So we jumped in Shelby with Scott and Mary and headed over across the bay and had some great pizza and rum punches. We didn't know at this time that this would be the last Bohemian restaurant we would eat in. The weather passed and COVID came to Nassau. Although we were miles from there, the Prime Minister began closing restaurants, liquor stores, limiting the amount of people in the grocery stores. So now we wanted to take a moment here to speak about our situation in Long Island and how we made the decisions we did. It's October 2020 and we're actually planning to go back to the boat very soon the next couple weeks. Um, but in our video series we are still in Long Island and it is right as COVID has come to Nassau and the Bahamas and a lot started happening and a lot of decisions had to be made by many cruisers, not just us, but we had to again um, start making some decisions about what we were going to do um, as this global pandemic started to come through the Bahamas. Yeah, there it was, it was a very confusing time and uh, everything was fluid. Um, you talk to one person um, and they tell you you can't travel inner island. Another person would tell you you can. Um, and then on the cruisers nets and the information, just a lot of misinformation being passed. You know, we're all trying to follow it on Facebook and uh, online as much as possible. Uh, we're sending emails to the, um, to the prime minister's office, uh, talking to the locals, uh, just trying to get some clarification. And there was, was really none to be had uh, in a lot of areas. Um, so everyone tended to sh uh, shy on the side of being very conservative with it, which even restricted us further uh, over what they were saying initially. It, it eventually got uh, very severely locked down, 
and um, we we had to start making some decisions and um, I guess originally we thought you know we could wait this out you know the what the talk was you know give it a few weeks this was all going to kind of uh, kind of calm down and go away um, but as we started watching things uh, from uh, really uh, about March 19th 19th yeah um, things started um, we just started watching and seeing how things were progressing, both in the States and in the Bahamas, because, you know, like I said, we're in, you know, southernmost part of the Bahamas, expecting to go to Turks and Caicos uh, and be hauled out there for the hurricane season and then come back to the States. Um, but Yeah, I think um, we our hope was, you know, Turks and Caicos had not closed and that we might potentially be able to get into Turks still, uh, maybe before they did close, um, because we had planned to have the boat hauled out, but um, within about a week, I think, after it happened in the Bahamas, Turks had closed, and their tentative opening date was actually right past when we would have to leave, be out of the Bahamas. Our visa would expire. So, you know, it was kind of like, do we wait it out and hope we can make that jump and somewhere or stay in the middle and still get in? Um, but that's when we really had to um, have some serious conversations and actually drew a pro and con list and started listing, you know, the pros of staying and the cons of staying or pros of going back, I think, to the U.S. Is that how we were doing it? Yeah. And the cons of going back to the U.S. And um, with everything happening, um, pretty much the pros to go home won out at that point. It, it was the one place we knew we could safely return with everything that was happening. You know, and, and just to give you kind of a little insight and uh, remind ourselves, you know, of what was happening then, uh, we've thought back through this and just, you know, uh, being in the U.S., there's a lot of inconsistencies w with the way things um, go. You know, we can go to Home Depot, we can go to Lowe's, and go to Walmart all you want. Uh, churches are still closed, um, you know, so it, it's it's very contradictory with um with your with your you know reasoning skills is why can you go one place and you can't go another uh so in in long island for one is um they closed the fuel docks you know we we had sufficient fuel we thought to get back to the u.s but would we like to have put some more in for you know just for emergency case yes um but you know just at the long island fuel dock there um he, he closed it now we could go walk up the, the hill to uh, the gas station, fill up cherry cans, uh, make three, four, five, ten transaction <laughs> um, a day, you know, and there again, we're exchanging more contact, more of everything, um, but we couldn't pull up to the fuel dock, stay on our boat, fuel our boat, um, and, and get fuel that way. So, things just weren't making sense as I'm sure you know wherever you are and um, they just weren't making sense so we we just started having to evaluate where where we were so you know we we had to make that decision it it was probably hard on the bohemian people too they had some really mm -hmm. tight restrictions that they were having to live by and so it just seemed fair for us to maybe step out of the way and um so we did make the decision to return. We did take our time and take the opportunity to see parts of the Bahamas we had missed coming because of the way we came down. We went out a different way, which you're going to get ready to start seeing as we make, after we leave Long Island and head back to the States. Some beautiful parts of the Exumas that we're going to visit and get to share with you. All right, so back to Long Island. We realized even with COVID hitting the Bahama Islands, we were still in a beautiful paradise, so off to explore since we were still able to go ashore. We hiked across the island to see the windward side of the island and get a better look at this unique island. For one, it's called an island instead of a key in the Bahamas. She, is a, she has rolling hills and nice beaches to explore and we are just beginning.
After the hike, we hunted for a small cave we had read about, which is accessed through someone's backyard. We were allowed to anchor the dinghies off their beach and were shown the trail. Friendly people everywhere we go in the Bahamas. Our water pump on the generator had been leaking, so Dee decided it was time to put the new one on before it failed and then no generator. The impeller was also missing a blade when we made the switch, so now everything is new. There is always boat maintenance and cleaning to be done. The water pump is now fixed, so it's time to explore some of the little islands in the bay and do some fishing and shelling. We checked out a blue hole in the bay and then set out to the back side of the Little Bay Islands where we had been seeing some other cruisers snorkeling and spearfishing. After exploring the rock ledges, we did some snorkeling, but we didn't find any dinner. We end this video with a beautiful double rainbow over Long Island. As Dee and I prepare to rent a car and set out exploring Long Island, this island is approximately 80 miles from end to end, so come along for the ride.